Hey everybody, how's it going? We're back in Shopify. So what I want to show you today is how to use the customer events pixels to fire a G tag, Google ads, conversion tracking tag with enhanced conversions. So we're not going to be doing anything in Google tag manager and we won't be doing anything in Google analytics. This is all about the G tag and how we can use the customer events pixels to fire it. Also, we're going to be passing enhanced conversions, like I said. So let's do that. It's actually very simple, especially since I'm going to be putting the code in one of my YouTube comments. So have a look at the comments for the code and everything should be pretty straightforward for you. I find that this customer events pixel stuff is pretty hard to find online. So share these videos with your friends who are also trying to move away from the checkout additional scripts area on Shopify and want to do more stuff with the pixels slash customer events stuff on Shopify. I want to try to create as many resources for that as possible, especially on the Google front. So here we are in Shopify, head over to the bottom left, click on settings. What you want to do is guess where we're going to navigate. We're going to go over to customer events. Okay. Click here on add custom pixel. Let's call it G tag conversion tracking. Okay. Click on add pixel, remove all this stuff. Now again, look for the comments and I will share the code in there, but grab the code, copy it and paste it here. So you'll notice right away that it says AW-ABC123. It says blah, blah over here, right? We want to change both of those things. So head over to Google Ads. Right over here, I have a test account. This is my Google Ads test account. So if you have a brand new Google Ads account and you want to set up Google Ads conversion tracking, then head over here to goals on the left and then click on new conversion action, right? Click on website, put the address of your website over here. Mine's already there because I've, I've done this before and click on scan. Now I like to just click add conversion action manually. It's the easiest. You don't need any of the help there. It actually will just slow you down, right? So, Goal and action optimization, right? The idea here is you want to select a category for your conversion action. In our case, it's purchase because we're going to be tracking purchases in Shopify. You got to name it, right? You can call it whatever you like, but uh, just call it uh, purchase Shopify. I don't know, whatever. Click on use the same value for each conversion. This doesn't matter so much because we're actually going to be passing the value to the tag in Shopify. So we're just going to just select use the same value for each conversion. Again, it doesn't matter at this point. Click on every for the account. <laughs> for the count, excuse me, not the account. All right? The idea here be behind every is if the same person comes back to buy something, you want that to be counted as two transactions instead of just one. If it's somebody submitting a lead form, then you would click on one, you see, because you want that same person to just be one conversion instead of counting them as many people if they're the same person and they filled out a lead form twice. Okay. Now, in your case, if, if you're doing this for the first time, make sure you check that box that says uh, use enhanced conversions, right? I've done this already. So my box is already checked for enhanced conversions. And then just click on done. Okay. Click on save and continue. Great. So typically I go over here, right? And I click on use Google tag manager, but today we're doing a tutorial on the Google tag or the G tag. So what you want to do, right? So this area is already highlighted set up with a Google tag, you want to move over here and click on see event snippet. Just click on copy. Okay. In my case, I have the code that was the sample code that we've put in the pixel area. 
and I've got it in this kind of, you know, text editor, or you can put it in a doc or whatever. But uh, I want to put what we just copied kind of under it, just so I can grab stuff. I want to copy and paste things. So I want to copy and paste first this AW section, All right? I'm going to copy that AW dash, and then for you it'll be a number. This is your conversion ID. So this represents your Google Ads account. So I'm going to go back to Shopify and I'm going to replace all of the aw abc 123 instances with this conversion ID from the conversion tracking tag that we just created or the conversion tracking action that we just created. I'll correct myself with the proper terminology. So let's put that there. So that's one instance, two instances, and three instances of the conversion ID that represents our Google Ads account. So now if we go back to where we pasted that event code snippet, you want to grab what's after the forward slash. This is your label. This is your conversion label. Right? And you want to replace blah, blah with this conversion label. Okay. Click on save, then click on connect. Okay. Now close it. All right. So that's done. I want to show you a trick actually, before we do anything more, let's go back to Google ads. All right. So it's, it's asking you to install your, conversion tracking tag at this point. If you actually click on use Google Tag Manager, it isolates the conversion ID and the label. So this is the number you would put after aw dash. So it would be aw dash, whatever this number is. So you'd copy and paste that. And then the label, you'd replace blah, blah with this number or this alphanumeric character here. So you could just do it this way too. Because you're just copying and paste stuff. You're copying and pasting things from this area. Or you could do it how I did it, where you say see event snippet, copy this, and just extract the things like I showed you. Okay, so let's test what we just did in Shopify, right? So I've, right, just a recap. We go settings and then uh, customer events. So that's in there now. It says connected. This should be ready to test. Okay. So under online store, you can click on view your online store. Let's add a product to cart. By the way, we can use Google Tag Assistant. So this is, you can get this from the Chrome extension store. It says legacy, they don't really support it anymore, but it's a good way to kind of debug stuff. I'll show you, I'm gonna use the network tab in Chrome to also debug stuff but we can just hit enable on this Chrome extension, right? So refresh, right? It's showing that a remarketing tag is fired, right? That's what we just did. And we've also added this AW number. So we've installed the G tag or the global site tag. It's got a bunch of different names. doesn't matter though. It's firing on every page at this point. So that's great. But we want it to fire the conversion label and uh, enhanced conversions as well. So it's not going to do the, that now. It'll do that at the end when the checkout is complete and the purchase is verified and complete. Right. So I've added this product to cart and I'll show you when it fires, how we can check that. So we'll go here to the cart. We'll click on checkout. Okay. So now we're in this area. So I'm going to right click either on this white area or the gray. And I'm just going to click on inspect. Now go to network. Okay. Now I want to, I want to copy my label and I want to put it in here. Okay. Now for testing purposes, I'm going to hmm, check out as a guest. Cash on delivery, COD, put some info in there. Perfect. Right. So I'm filtering the network tab for the label in our newly created 
uh, conversion action that we've also pasted into our customer events pixel. Right, so remember this particular label replaced blah blah in our code. So now let's do our test pur purchase. I'll add my phone number there. Complete order. Oh, wow. Sort of gave me a bit of a delay there. I was worried, but there it is. It worked. So you can see the network tab is showing that a successful handshake has been made between our Shopify website and the Google servers, right? So this label has been detected. We were successfully able to filter for it. Right? The network tab is showing you packets of data that are flowing between something and something else. In this case, it's our website and outside to Google ads, okay? And we can check over here, we can just see, right? We see a status 200, right? So what does that mean? Status, status 200 means the status 200 okay status code means that the request was successful, successful. That's great. That's exactly what we want. We want the request that is sent from our website to Google ads to come back as a 200. 200 okay, there it is. So we've got that green circle, green light, green means go. That's great. Now what does tag assistant say? There we are. It also shows that the Google ads conversion tracking tag has fired. There's the ID that we pasted. There's the label we pasted in the pixel area. There's the conversion value of $40. There's requests that, so it's, it's submitting events. That's great. Now you, you, you must, might also be thinking, how do we debug enhanced conversions? Cause we did implement that. Well, enhanced conversions, let's, let's see, right? Remember I told you it's, it's showing you kind of packets that are flowing from one place to another. In this case, our Shopify site and Google ads. Well, that packet comes in the form of a URL with a bunch of different things in the URL. So let's have a look at what the URL has in it. So over here, we've got do, 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 do. perfect. Okay. Right here, we've got um, uh, label equals, and we've got the label that we've added to our code. So that's good. That's the one that we're filtering for. That's why it's showing up here. But I want, I want to find um, the ID. What's our ID? because that also needs to be sent to Google Ads. So that ends in 9054. Okay, there it is right here, 9054. So we're sending the, I, the conversion ID, we're sending the label, and there's the value equals 40. The currency code equals Canadian in my case, because that's where I am in Canada. And what about in, what about uh, enhanced conversions? Well, it's not going to send my phone number and my email through the uh, URL because that wouldn't be very privacy safe. Instead, what it does is sends it via this kind of hashed, you know, scrambled looking alphanumeric value, right? So you want to look for EM equals and then this value here. This is going to be different for everybody. The, the idea here is it's hashing it and then Google matches hashed values. It has no idea what the email is and it has no idea what the phone number is. It has very clearly an idea of this kind of coded hash value and it doesn't even have the ability to unhash it. It's not like encryption. It's just matching hashed with hashed. So, in your URL, when you see EM equals, that means enhanced conversions was successfully sent to the conversion tracking tag, especially since this is included with this particular URL here where we see the label, right? And we can verify, we can go copy and then go here, right? If I go find, yep, there's the label. That's exactly what we want to see, right? The ID. 
there it is. Right? I just did a find for it, and there it is. So there it is, everybody. You don't have to use the checkout additional scripts area anymore to fire a conversion tracking tag using the pixels, customer events area, and using enhanced conversions to be future ready and to track as durable a conversion as possible, even in the event of uh, third party cookie deprecation and all that stuff. You want to use enhanced conversions. Google wants you to use it as well, just so you know it can enhance measurement for you and uh, you can see better data in your Google Ads account. This is how you do it. And this is how you do it properly so that your Shopify site doesn't all of a sudden stop working in the future in terms of tracking. You want to do it this way so that everything is perfectly set up using the new method, the customer events pixels method. Okay, remember, so this is not contingent on Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics. This is just implementing a conversion tracking tag from Google Ads to your new Shopify site using the new approach, the customer events pixels approach. Hopefully that was helpful. Any questions, let me know. All right, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.